Hello, welcome to lesson 49, Extension Methods in C Sharp, brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is extension method. Extension methods are a new feature in C Sharp 3.0. An extension method enables us to add methods to existing types without creating a new derived type, recompiling compiling, or modify the original types. To understand it very clearly, we will jump into Visual Studio and we will start coding. Here, for example, I'm having a string a return type and the variable name is user equals if I assign some text like uh, Hank Pro Technologies. Okay. And my intention is I want this sentence, this value to, pre to be printed in uppercase. How do I do that? It's very simple. I will take that uh, variable, then I have to use a two upper method which is present in, which is present in the string class. Okay string by default provides us a method called to upper which will converts the input string into uppercase values yes it has done but uh, the user tries to count the number of words which are presenting in this string but let us see whether string is having a method called word count no it does not have so if I want to count the number of words present in this uh, then I have to define a method and defining such method is called as extension method keep in mind what is an extension method extension method enables us to add methods to existing types in this existing type in the sense here the existing type is string now to this string type I want to add a method called word count such such that that method will count the number of words present in this sentence so extension method is a method which will be add, add to the method which will be added to the existing types without creating a new derived type recompiling or modifying the original types okay an extension method is a static method to the existing static class if you want to create an extension method you have to define first a static class then you have to define a static method inside that static static method inside that static class so to understand it very clearly we'll jump into visual studio and we'll start coding now what i'll do is i'll just remove this part now let us see how to build an extension method it's very simple public class static class class name is called extension I'll call it as extension now I'll define a method called word count static it returns integer means it returns the number of words so I should take integer and the method name is word word count it takes input as string okay now what I'll do is um, okay it is returning string I'll take a string uh, array uh, its name is user string str dot split we have a method called split what is this method is going to take see this method is having a six variations let us see each of them uh, our intention is to count the number of words present in the string so in the sentence there might be a comma full stop or empty space now if I am counting the number of words in that sentence it has to omit all those things like comma full stop question mark or a, a empty space so how do I omit those sentences by taking this char then uh, then I have to add here what are the things I have to omit like uh, empty space uh, then full stop then my method should omit question mark also sorry I'll do it from first some error has caused me okay it's empty space then a dot that is full stop coming outside of that then I have to use mm, okay I'll use question mark here as of now okay then I'll come here then I have to use a comma then I'm having a string split options then I have to call a method called remove or a operate remove entry entries 
what this what this piece of sentence is doing is I um, defined a array of user string and whatever the whatever the data passed by the user will come here and it will pass this condition then it will give you the output it means uh, if your string is having a empty space full stop or a question mark uh, these things will be omitted then it will be counted it, we are telling here string split options dot remove empty entries whatever the empty things which which are found in the string it will be removed uh, now once I'm done with that uh, what I have to do is int word count equals user string what it does to it is to count the number of words okay it is done then I have to return that how do I return word count done my extension method is ready it's very simple how to define an extension method our extension method should be this method should be inside the extension class such that both the class as well as the method should be static and I have to use your this keyword I just forget to say before you passing the first parameter to this word count in the extension method you have to use this keyword okay now how do I use this word count when I run in my main program uh, what I'll do is I'll take the user input so I'll define like uh, string user input equals first I'll very string dot empty okay now I'll take input from the user user input is equal to you should read it from the console so I have to call the console class dot read line method to take the input from the console screen and uh, once I'm having the input uh, int total words I have to initialize a variable called total words I will initialize it to 0 now total words total words is equal to user input dot word count see now before I was not able to access this method but when I made it an extension method now I can able to access this word count method now when I pass this total words Now when I run this program and if I enter some string uh, like uh, I am a dot net developer now when I print like this it is telling that it is telling that it total words is for one two three four but it is omitting the white spaces as well as this full stop also so it's giving us the total number of words present here are four words but uh, keep in mind what is the extension method extension method is we defined method to the already existing type called string now when I want to count the number of words present in the string what I have to do is I have to just create a variable and I have to use the dot operator to call that method this is how we defined our own extension method and we found it the number of words present in the string this is what about the extension method and before uh, closing this session or uh, completing the session I would like to discuss the feature and property of extension methods you can observe the feature and property of extension methods extension method is a static method uh, obviously this method is a static method you can observe here and it must be located in the static class uh, sure and this method is located in the static class keep in mind okay and it uses this keyword as the first parameter you can observe here it uses this keyword as the first parameter it also sh is also shown by Visual Studio Intelligence yes now when I complete my extension method and when I used like uh, user input for example when I I'll just remove this to show you how Visual Studio showed it intelligence now when I use dot operator and I call word count Visual Studio is showing us intelligence this is because of extension method we created okay and you can give me you can give any name for example for this uh, 
method i've given word count if you can give whatever the name you want or whatever you feel and if you create extension methods that have the same signature for example we have a method called to upper to make all the words in the sentences for upper case if i try to redefine that method then what will happen if i try to uh, create a such method again which is already present in the dotted framework what happens it will throw you a compile time error or that method will be never called again this is what about the feature and property of extension methods okay thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to anchor training below